Tonight, Russia widening its offensive in Ukraine as President Biden warns China, do not come to Putin's aid. And just then, a U.S. military aircraft crashing during NATO exercises in Europe. What we're learning tonight. Deadly new strikes in the capital, Kyiv, and Russia launches its first attacks near the western city of Lviv, just 40 miles from the border with Poland. In Mariupol, 130 people rescued from that bombed theater, but more than 1,000 may still be trapped. The haunting image, 109 empty strollers, one for each child reported dead. President Biden warning China's President Xi there will be consequences if China provides material support to Russia. What happened on their high stakes call? Also tonight, tracking severe storms on the move, powerful winds damaging mobile homes in the southeast. In Texas, explosive wildfires forcing evacuations, a deputy killed trying to rescue victims. Plus, Moderna going farther than Pfizer, asking the FDA to okay a fourth COVID shot for all adults as the Omicron subvariant spreads in the U.S. The consumer alert for the millions burdened by medical debt. And underdogs pulling off a March Madness upset for the ages. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening. I'm Shepard Smith in for Lester. Tonight, it's a city overrun with people fleeing from the east of Ukraine. In the south, officials say hundreds remain trapped in the rubble of that theater bombed in the port city of Mariupol. The United Nations now estimates six and a half million Ukrainians are displaced from their homes. That's on top of the more than three million who've already fled to neighboring countries and still defiance and protest on display. The empty strollers set up in a town square to represent each of the 109 children that Ukraine says have been killed since the invasion began. We begin with chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel reporting from Kyiv. Biden warned the Chinese president Xi today, do not help Russia. No military might and no money. Kristen Welker's at the White House with more on that and some breaking news. Kristen. Shep, good evening. Another problem growing more acute tonight in Ukraine, finding enough food. Jacob Soboroff reports. Severe storms are causing destruction in the south. And in Texas, a deputy killed while trying to rescue wildfire victims. Late details tonight from Morgan Chesky. Drug maker Moderna is requesting FDA emergency authorization for a second consumer alert tonight for the millions of Americans feeling the burden of medical debt. A move by the big three credit ratings that could have a major impact on your credit score. Tom Costello now with the price you pay. She swam into college sports history. Next, Leah Thomas's message to her critics. History and controversy in college sports tonight as swimmer Leah Thomas becomes the first transgender Division I champion in any sport. Critics claim she had an unfair advantage. Blaine Alexander reports. In one community's darkest moments, he came to the rescue. Now they're repaying the favor and inspiring America. Finally tonight, courage after a devastating tornado and how one man's heroic actions helped him get a second chance at life. Kristen Dahlgren with tonight's Inspiring America. That's nightly news for this Friday. A reminder, hope you'll join us for the news with Shepard Smith, weeknights, 7 Eastern, CNBC. Thanks for watching. For all of us here, have a good night.